Yeah, so I have a Ford Transit 150 and installed a TV in here just recently. I'll walk you through uh, the DVD player that we chose, the inverter, and the uh, TV up here, as well as the uh, mount. So I'll just show you how it works really quick and then we'll go through it. So here's the TV. Um, I did get it through Amazon, picked it up at Best Buy. It's a 24 inch TV. Um, it does go up and lock into the storage position there. I found it's pretty stable while driving. We mounted the inverter underneath the seat, connected directly to the battery. And right now the DVD player is just here underneath this seat and the wires are still exposed. Uh, eventually I'll close uh, the wires in inside the pillar here. And uh, we do, this is a smart TV, so it is connected with uh, Amazon and it seems to work pretty well. All right, this is the board that I used and the mount. There's the DVD player, the inverter, the TV that I purchased. These are the dimensions for the TV. It is a 24 inch television. I did have to taper the end of the board when I got it to the correct length to fit into the roof. It was about 58 and a half inches long and I continued to taper it until it wedged in nicely between the roof and the brackets. All right, um, this is just a side shot here of the headliner after it had been pulled down. There are these plastic pins that you can see here and then the tool that I used to remove those. After I'd cut the board to the correct length, I did open the driver's side window in order to fit it in there. The way that I installed it, I only needed to remove this one section of headliner and the rest of the headliner remained intact in position. Do be careful that you're not going to damage the headliner, especially in the back corner on the uh, passenger side near the slider. It might got a little bit folded and if I hadn't noticed it sooner, it probably wouldn't have happened. Um, at this point, I got the board wedged in there really good. I was trying to decide whether I needed to use an epoxy or bolt it into place. I've heard people have done both. Um, if you're going to bolt it in, you, you do need to get uh, the appropriate size hardware and a drill bit that's going to be able to go through that. There's the ledge right there. You can see, you can see the duct work for the air conditioning and uh, don't damage that while you're working in there and uh, you can see I wedged it in. Shortly after this video I ended up doubling up the board in the section where I was going to bolt the mount. That brought the board down directly to the correct um, height for the headliner. These are just a few images um, that I took. There was the orange clips. You'd have to pull directly down on those. There's a side shot. Um, but I do recommend doubling up the board. It'll bring it down closer to the headliner where you're going to bolt through for your mount. Here's a picture of the mount once it's installed. Um, I'm going to go tighten it up. I did use kind of like a wood screw um, that did not crack the board when I went into it. Again, the board is doubled up in this area. This is the inverter I chose. Um, we did wire it directly to the battery. I kind of debated where to put it. And then I found out that it does sit nicely on top of the uh, battery box underneath the driver's seat. It's a 750 watt inverter. I did cut off those uh, alligator clips and uh, installed some direct bolt on um, ear tabs. It has plenty of power. I do turn it on and off each time I use it, so I just reach under the, uh, the back of the seat. It has that little kind of drape that covers over it, and I turn it on and off uh, before each use. Here's the TV now mounted on here. I was kind of fitting it and adjusting it so that it would flip up and it would uh, be out of the way. We did choose to put it mostly behind the driver so that the passageway between the driver and the passenger is still open for, for moving in and out of, if you're moving between the front seat and back to, back to the kids. Um, we didn't want to have it in the way. So it is on the driver's side.
Okay, here in this, uh, in this video, my son was just setting up the uh, Amazon TV. It is a smart TV. It's connected with our Wi-Fi. We did find that it streams very well through, um, through a cell phone hotspot or through the hotspot in the van. We also did install that DVD player. I just used an HDMI cable to go from the back of the TV down the side wall with the power cable to the DVD player. And um, this is the final shot, and we're happy with the finished product. Thank you very much for watching. I hope your install works out well.